I know you don't like to be left here, but look, Bunny, please be a good girl and, and, and don't be made with Johnny or me, you know, it's not because we don't love you or anything like that, but it's just that we have to go and... Hey, Ollie, you've been saying goodbye to her for over an hour. Yeah, but her feelings is hurt. Well, don't worry, she won't sue you for breach of promise. Are you sure you tied that rope tight this time? Yes, I did, Johnny. Well, goodbye, Bunny. Oh, get a hold of yourself. I'm sorry, Bunny. This is just one of those things. Don't worry. I'm going to send somebody back to feed her. Like a piston ring, hand me a wrench. Thanks, Ollie. Look, Yanni, it's funny. <laughs> what a surprise. She keeps coming back. We'll be in Mexico until she grows up beard. On her, the beauty first. <laughs> Fiesta. Carnival. That's it. Suppose she's gonna do open up a garage or something? Well, I thought she would if she had the money. Bunny's a smart girl. Smarter than us. Got us hooked and she knows it. Oh, please, Johnny, not in front of Bunny. She's sensitive. You hurt her feelings. Oh, stop being so sentimental about that elephant. Here we are, stuck with Bunny. You won't let me get rid of her. Even elephants have to eat, you know. Yes, I, I, I guess you're right, Johnny. But you know Bunny don't belong to us. And if the right owner shows up and finds out we sold his property, we both land in the yard. We sure tried hard enough to find him. I could write a travelogue. Only, there must be someone in this carnival that could use an elephant. Oh, dear, Sean. Oh, listen, this is no time to weaken. We've got to keep trying. It looks just like Coney Island. Yeah, maybe they get hot dogs, too. How much is that? Yes, it's about it. Uh, make it two. With my eyes closed. You, uh, wouldn't want to bet, would you? Bet what? The glass potato? No. Bunny. Okay, Oli. I knocked the gal in the tank and no more squawks about getting rid of that elephant. And if you don't, we keep Bunny. You can kiss her goodbye right now. Don't forget, three times in a row. Oh, you wouldn't handicap me, would you, pal? Who, me? <laughs> Ah, que es un padre de aquí viene 
nuestro señor a comprarme tres pelotas por diez centavos. Aquí, aquí, aquí todo el mundo. ¡Ay, qué tontería! No se haga ilusiones, amigo, no lo voy a poder hacer usted otra vez. Very lucky, señor. Let me see you do it again. Always willing to oblige a lady. You could do it again in a million years. Keep your arches on. You gotta go in one more time, sister. But I think my feelings are hurt. Ah, don't worry, that water ain't that hard. Holy. Hey! Hey! You can't kill yourself. Shoot the guitar. No, no, no. Señores, por favor, let me stand up and begin. My beautiful Dolores, how could you leave me? It's nice you how many times I told you not to waste ammunition and frighten people. It is no use. My life is gone. Ah, relax, guys. She'll come back. Say, friend, that little package of dynamite is working overtime on your place. Si, sí, señor, but there's nothing I can do about it. When Nita gets angry, a few dollars are nothing. Just like her mother. She's my daughter, you know. Your daughter? If she was my daughter, I'd put a padlock on that cage of hers. I think she's out of ammunition. Please, Lisa, calma, tijita mía. This imbecile almost killed me. But, senorita, a thousand pardons. My Dolores, she's gone. I cannot live without her. She was so lovely, so affectionate. And she had such a beautiful wings. Wings? Sí, and the most delicate shade of blue. Was she an angel? No, a flea. A flea? Well, that wins the tamale. Senores, permit me to introduce Ignacio Perez, master of the flea circus. I'm Alberto Cordova, owner of the carnival, and my daughter, Nita. Oh, yes, we met. Uh, I just gave her a bath. A bath? Yes, and this is the last time I get into that tank. Just look at me. Oh, pobrecita. Uh, <clears throat> lady, may I offer you my coat? Thank you very much. It is getting cold. Oh, and my Dolores, she's not used to go out in the cold. Mr. Ignacio, I think I can help you. You mean to say that you know what a Dolores is? No, but a man of your standing in the wild animal training world shouldn't be bothered with fleas. No, they're very unfaithful. Right. They desert you the first chance they get. Now, uh, I think I have just the thing for you. Hey, Oli? More wonderful than any flea could ever be. I don't want anything. I want my Dolores. See? He just wants his Dolores. Nonsense, Mr. Ignacio. A great animal trainer like you should have something more like, uh, an elephant. Call Bunny. Don't 
Alberto. You must buy me this beautiful animal. She already loves me. Ignacio, you know that's impossible. The carnival is already heavily mortgaged to Don Jose. <laughs> but neither the elephant Papa, will be... Papa, remember the agreement. Who is responsible for the mortgage of the carnival? Senor, your elephant will be a wonderful thing in our carnival, but we can afford it. Very cheap to you, Cordoba. You can have her for a song. <laughs> I am afraid my singing won't interest you. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet your style of singing will be right up my alley. Well, I bet she sings just like a Swedish nightingale. Oh, Nita. Ignacio, and uh, just how high you want me to sing, senor? Just high enough to get us back to Brooklyn. I'd say 500 pesos. You must be joking, senor. Why, she's worth 20 times that. And to us, even more. It will give our little carnival the stature of a circus. That's the price to you. Then she's mine, eh? Hey, eh, Chiquita? Her name is Bunny. And you shouldn't get so familiar on such a short acquaintance. Senor, a gentleman should never interfere when two have reached an understanding. An understanding? Fine. Sure. Holy. Well, how about it, Miss Cordova? I'd love to have her, but... Uh... We won't have any money until after the fiesta. Well, we can wait. We've got to have a few days to fix the truck up anyway. Then she's mine. She is yours, Mr. Ignacio, and I think she's found a good home. Ah, vamos, vamos. Bunny has made Ignacio so happy. Oh, but your friend, he's so sad. And you, senor, you're not. Well, I did get kind of fond of her, but... Ah, uh, he'll soon forget about it. Perhaps. But, senores, while you're here, permit me to extend the hospitality of the carnival. Thanks. Excuse us, please. Come on, snap out of it, Oli. Hey, give the lady another cigar. <laughs> Hand me down that wrench. Hey, Ollie, do you hear me? Hand me that wrench. Ouch! Hey! What's the matter with you? Boy, you nearly brained me. Well, I, I'm sorry, Yanni, but every time I think of that flea lover Ignacio with my bunny, I get mad all over. All right, go ahead and see her. You're not much used to being around here. And say hello for me. Oh, you bet I will. A and thank you. want to play games, why don't you go get yourself a teddy bear? I am not playing games. And the next time you want to wipe your greasy hands, please don't use my table napkin. Your napkin? Oh, I'm sorry. I told Ollie to get me a piece of rag. Hey, is that where we eat? Only lunch. We live in the big house. Come on, grab yourself a seat. So you like uh, mermaids? Crazy about them, but it's strictly the kibitz, as we say in Brooklyn. What's this kibitz in Brooklyn? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. That word kibitz didn't mean a lot of things. Maybe like girls? Yeah, you could kibitz with a girl. And I ain't seen very many that could take it. Take what? Kibitz. Get it? No. Well, I'll show you. Suppose I went out with Jane, Alice, and Nate. Had about three dates with them. Just to have a little fun. Is this Alice? Mm-mm. That's Jane. Now, the first crack out of the bus, they say, Johnny, quit the kibitzing. Come on, let's get married. Oh, the girls talk like that in Brooklyn, too? <laughs> Did you go out with the three of them at the same time? Well, uh... Wasn't it a little dangerous? What would happen if they got together? They did. That's why I'm out here right now with Oli. Give me those pliers. What are you going to do when you go back to Brooklyn? Oh, everything's all right now. They got married. So now you can keep it, eh? 
Well, I might give it a whirl if I happen to see anything interesting. Oh, naturally. It has to be very interesting. Naturally. Can't expect a kibitzer of my standing to kibitz with just anybody. Of course, any girl can tell by looking at you that uh, you're not just a, an ordinary man. <laughs> <laughs> naturally. Perhaps this will be easy to identify. <laughs> Brooklyn, Brooklyn, or wherever you come from. Caramba, but she speaks. Oh, please, Mr. Ignacio, you, you shouldn't speak that way about my bunny, but she's only a slim 410, you see this? She's not your bunny, she's my Dolores. Oh, just a minute. You mean you're going to name my bunny after you, please? Why should I give that beautiful animal the name of my beloved Dolores? Oh, but bunny, she's too big a girl to be named after a flea. What's the size has got to do with it? And besides, why you bother me and my Dolores? Bunny. Dolores. It's bunny. Dolores. It's bunny. You ask her. All right, I will. Senorita Elephant, which do you prefer, the common ordinary name of bunny or the beautiful, elegant, romantic name of Dolores. Now, which is which? Bunny? Dolores? You see? Oh, now you let me ask her. Bunny, are you going to become a snob? Or are you going to get high hats and make me ashamed of you? Now, Bunny, that's a nice name for a sweet, simple girl like you. But Dolores, why, why, that sounds like too much lipstick. Now, which is it? Dolores? Bunny? There, you see? Senor, I don't like your references to my beloved Dolores. It happens to be the name of someone I love very much. Have care. And I don't like the way you're trying to change my bunny's life, or the way you are treating her. Oh, so you don't like it, eh? No, and in Brooklyn, they would put you in jail for cruelty to the animals. Cruelty? Cru 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 what does this cruelty mean? Well, you going to call her Dolores, and anybody but a flea trainer could see that she was embarrassed. Dolores. Senor, for the last time, I warn you not to speak about Dolores in such tone of voice. And when did we acquire this candidate for dog meat? Dogs aren't too particular, eh, Jose? Oh, now wait a minute. I don't think Bunny likes that. Oh, so her name's Bunny and uh, she belongs to you, I suppose. No, Senorita Cordova, she purchased her for me. And how much did she pay for this uh, <coughs> institution? Oh, well, she hasn't paid us yet. Us? Yeah, me and my partner, Yano O'Reilly. Well, anyway, you take her inside before the evening crowd comes. I don't want her crawling up the carnival, understand? Si, sí, senor. And you, senor. Are leaving soon? Yeah, just as soon as they get paid. Ah, yes, paid. <laughs> Have you any more ideas on that subject? Oh, no, no, none at all. Oh. Senor Riley, isn't it? Yeah, what's with this, ah, yes, paid? What's that? Well, I suppose I'll have to explain it to you. Do you mind? Oh, no, 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 no. You see, as it happens, I have loaned Senor Cordoba some money. Naturally, he will pay me first. How about the fiesta? Oh, yeah, yeah, the fiesta. Well, uh, you will no doubt have left before that, eh, senor? Well, now that you come to mention it, I think I'll stick around a while. You know, I've never seen a fiesta. Oh, well, there's not much to it, I assure you. Now, no, I don't think you would like it. No? No, no. Hey, those two gentlemen ain't gentlemen. They're a bad hombre. Since they come here to the carnival seven months ago, our luck has changed. From good to bad? No, from bad to impossible. Is that why Nita and her father have to work the concessions? Si, senor. You see, they cannot afford to pay for salaries. My little flea circus was the only concession paying. And now, she's gone. My beautiful Dolores! <coughs> My beautiful... Taco concession, 35 pesos. Taco concession, 35 pesos. Dal concession, 100 pesos lost. Dal concession, 100 pesos lost. Oh, Papa, I'm sorry, I lost my temper again. 
Mm, that's all right, my child. It brings back memories of your beloved mother. Now, suppose we get the figures down. I'm ready. Good. The dip, 20 pesos. Dip, 20 pesos. Mmm. Smells good. Oh, my chicken. Woo. Chicken, my favorite dish. But isn't it rather unusual to... Ah. How do you know he likes chicken? Ollie told me. How did you know it was for him? How do I know? When a girl starts making pictures of him, it's self-evident. You're in love, my child, eh? <laughs> Does he love you? Well, he likes to keep it. Keep it? What's that? Come here, I'll show you what I mean. Sit down, Papa. Now, now, to keep it, you must have three. Like this, I'll show you. Oh, here. <laughs> This is Alice. Now, um, this is Mabel. And this is Jane. Oh, wait. Was it Rose? Well, it's all right. You have three dates with them. And then they ask you to marry them. All three of them? Yeah, of course. It only happens in Brooklyn. Strange place, Brooklyn. Of course, you don't marry them. Well, I should say not. One was enough for me. But, uh, what is this kibitz? Papa. I just explained to you. The girls in Brooklyn, and then you don't marry any one of them. He cannot give it with my daughter. Sorry. He's going away. Good evening, Jeff. Happy to see you. Uh, good evening, too, Mr. Godot. Come along. The food will be here soon. Mmm, and such food need to prepare. Better than anything you've eaten, even in Brooklyn. That sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> well, Jan and me could stand a good meal. It would seem to me that the only thing you'll do is eat. Poor elephant. You mean I eat and don't feed Bunny? But you set up yourself this morning. A slim 410. Yeah, but let me tell you I something. Said, uh, gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, please, let us relax and enjoy our dinner. How you talking? Nita! Food at last. Now, let's see what we have. Chicken! Hey, that's for me with bells on. Hope you like it. Like it? Uh, that's right up my alley. Help yourselves, senores. Buenas noches. Jose, you're late. Yes, I had some business to attend to. Ah, always the perfect hostess, aren't you? My little buyer of elephants. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I have something else to do. You're very lucky, senor. Nita doesn't cook chicken every day, you know. That's right, Johnny. Uh, Jose, the elephant will be a great asset to our carnival. Yeah. Don't expect any miracles, senor. Yes, sir. Bunny will be a terrific drawing card. Yes, but even an elephant has to be exploited. I'll show you how to advertise it. We'll cost you some, Mr. Cordoba. We'll give away free tickets. See, si, Johnny, but what is the purpose of free tickets? We never charge admission to the carnival. It is only for the concessions that people pay. That's what I say. People who know will come to see why we give away free tickets. Those who don't know will think they're getting something free. That's the way we do back home. A hey, marvelous place, Brooklyn. Yes, and when the people hear about Bunny's wrinkles, they will come twice as fast. <laughs> <laughs> what is there so wonderful about Bunny's wrinkles? Well, you see, then, you note the exact number of wrinkles on Bunny's nose, and you make a wish. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> if that is true, senor, why haven't you wished yourselves home, huh? Yes, why don't you go away also? Because I haven't yet counted all the wrinkles on Bunny's nose. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, senor. As soon as you find out the correct number of wrinkles on Bunny's nose, my dear, let me know. I have a wish to make. About you. <laughs> Here, Johnny, have some of these. What's that? It's a cherry pie. Uh, what is this uh, cherry pie? That's crust baked over cherries. Ah, oh, the tortilla with the cherries, eh? How'd you learn to make it? Only told me. Is that like they make in Brooklyn? Yeah, better. This is super duper. The chicken was up in the alley with the bells on, and now the cherry pie is a uh, super duper. <laughs> and neither is the cat meow. <laughs> <laughs> the elephant will be taken care of. Now, what about Johnny and his partner? Maybe, uh... No, 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 no. I'll take care of them myself. Now, remember, I don't want anything to go wrong. If they get a chance to show that elephant on the street tomorrow, that old fool will make enough money to pay us off 20 times. <laughs> He's already paid you off twice just on the interest. 
And that's the way it's going to be. Why, it's a perfect setup for us. Stop playing with that hammer. It makes me nervous. We, uh... We always have expense money, and we don't stay in one place too long, huh? Now you know what you have to do. Don't worry, Jose. Before I'm through with that overgrown horse with a tail for a nose... Watch out, that tail doesn't wind up around your neck. Senorita Cordova. What are you doing here? I just came in to see the brute. And before I knew it, she had seized me and I... That's not true. Juan is a good girl, and she wouldn't spank him unless he deserved it. I'm also of the same opinion. I know positively he would have hurt her. No, no, Senorita. Honestly, I just... If I ever see you in this tent again, I'll have bunny seat on you. Now get out of here. Pronto, vayas aquí. Johnny? He's sleeping in the truck. He likes the open air. Oh, does he have enough covers? She needs her. I give him one of mine. <laughs> What's that rope for? Are you afraid you're going to lose each other? He's afraid I will speak to Bunny alone. Dolores. <laughs> all right, all right. Are you going to stay here like that all night? Go to bed, both of you. <laughs> Funny little man, Ignacio Noli. Ah, oh, but they love you very dearly. It must be wonderful to be loved by someone like that. Someone who doesn't keep it. You know what I mean, don't you, Bunny? Of course you do. You're old enough. Oh, Bunny, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know how sensitive a lady is about her age. But uh, we'll keep it a secret between us, eh? You know, Bunny, I don't know if it's true what they say about, about your wrinkles. But even if I don't know how many wrinkles you have, you won't mind if I make a wish to you. I wish, I wish that I'll always be Johnny's cat meow. There. I suppose you think I'm silly. But I guess when it comes to love, all women are. Good afternoon, Capitan Oliveira. Buenas tardes. Ah, Senorita Cordova, be seated, please. And how is the master of the flea circus? <laughs> I hope you didn't bring any to my office. <laughs> oh, no, Senor Capitan. In the flea circus, there is something much, much larger. And what may that be? <laughs> an elephant. An elephant? That is quite an expansion from a flea. An elephant? See, si, but she's not an ordinary elephant. She's wonderful, beautiful, and romantic. Easy, si, si, your fleas were the same. But what is the purpose of your visit? We are here to ask for a permit to parade the elephant. The van, the truck, with the members of the carnival. Parade an elephant in the streets of El Encanto? But that is preposterous. They do it in Brooklyn. They do many things in Brooklyn, such as jumping off the Brooklyn Bridge or selling it to some fool now and then. Tell me, what is the purpose of parading this elephant? Ballyhoo. Ballyhoo? You know, like, uh, advertising. Oh, and in Brooklyn they do this, uh, ballyhoo in the streets? Si. Well, if it is good enough for Brooklyn, then it is good enough for El Encanto. You have my permission. Thank you, Senor Capitan. 
Thank you, Capitan Oliveira. You are super duper. And with the bells on. Presenting the good luck elephant, Bunny. That's all right, Johnny. Wait to see the business it brings in. Oh, did you get the permits? Yeah, did. See, Anita and me are the super dupers. <laughs> good. <laughs> Ignacio, get the elephant ready for the parade. I'll tell the others. Si, senor. Come on, Anita. Got to rehearse that speech. You know, you got to be good. Oh. Now, go ahead. You're a cinch. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, the Cordoba Carnaval will present for her premiere performance none other than Bunny, the Wonder Elephant. She will positively amaze you. I saw an elephant once. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give away to each and every one a ticket. Marvelous. Admitting you to the ground of the carnival for the show which starts at 8 o'clock tonight. Now, this ticket is not gonna cost you, senora centavo. This ticket is not gonna even cost you a peso. This ticket is absolutely, positively free. Honey, you're swell. They'll sign you up for life in Coney Island. Oh. That's in Brooklyn, too. <laughs> we will be rich. With this money, we shall pay Don Jose. See, and Johnny and Ollie, too. For Bunny. That's right, Nita. Yes, and then he'll go back to Brooklyn. But after all, this is not his home. And we must travel on, too. Yes, I know, but he called me. He's kept me out. Kept me out? There, there, my child. <laughs> What's this? Now that we're making money, you start to cry. Yeah, blow. I'll be back in a few minutes. Come in. Yes? Is Senor Cordova here, senorita? No, but I am his daughter, perhaps... We are police officers. Oh, why, are you sure they don't expect to find any criminals here among our employees? No, but we are looking for two Americans. We were told that two were seen with an elephant, and we are not sure if they are the ones we want, but... Uh... Oh, those Americans. Why, <clears throat> yes, as a matter of fact, uh, we did buy an elephant from them. But they left as soon as we paid them. Uh, what have they done? I'm sorry, but it's confidential. If you see them again, please notify the police at once. Si, sí, senor. Good night, senorita. Thank you very much. Good night, gentlemen. Excuse me, I have something to do. But Johnny, those detectives are here looking for him and that elephant boy, Oli, aren't they? Oh, they were just looking for two Americans, but they're not sure it's Johnny and Oli. Oh, no, no, but you didn't take any chances, did you? Sit down, Nita. I, uh, I heard you tell them that Johnny and Oli had gone. You listen? No, but the door, she is open and I... What are you going to do? And nothing. Thank you, Jose. Uh, what's your hurry? The police have gone. You can say goodbye to Johnny later. Goodbye? Certainly. You're going to tell him the police were here, aren't you? Yes, I'm going to tell him now. Huh. You'd even break the law for him, wouldn't you? 
Jose, what do you mean? Well, concealing criminals and aiding them to escape. Oh, but Johnny's no criminal. I'm sure he's done nothing wrong. Perhaps not, but the police seem to think so. I... I won't tell them he's here if, if you're nice to me. Neither. You know how I feel about you. Yes, Jose, but... But you love Johnny, I know. Yes. Yes, I do. Do what? Jose, you look like Mr. Trouble done got you by the big toe. Senor, he may have me by the big toe, but he's practically got you by the neck. Johnny, where is Oli? With Bunny and Ignacio. Hey, what does snake eyes mean by that crack? Crack? Yeah, for once he sounded like he was telling the truth. Nita, what's up? Johnny. There is trouble. The police were here looking for you and Oli. Police? Where are they now? You haven't done anything wrong, have you? Oh, Nita, the little wrong I've done you could put in your left eye. But they were asking for two Americans. And they mentioned a elephant. Uh-oh. Then it is you they want. Well, uh, listen, Nita, I haven't committed any crime yet. And we haven't received a sense so far, and technically... Johnny, did you steal much? Well, uh, I, uh, considering, wasn't bad at all. Would you? Well, I'll tell you, it was like this. I met Louis the Lift. That's all his real name. He says to me, he says, Johnny, I've got the layout of Jake's delicatessen. This is no ordinary job, he says. Of course, I knew that Jake had plenty of what it takes for over the weekend, so I decided to pull it on a Saturday night. Did you carry a gun? Oh, no. Of course not. I had Jane, Alice, and Mabel for my gun girls. Were they very interesting gun girls? Well, Mabel wasn't so hot. She was sort of, uh, you know, uh, her gun holster balls. Oh, <laughs> that's why you only keep it with her. Oh, I had to be nice to her. She had an itchy trigger finger. Well, the night before we pulled the job, we were sitting up in Louie's apartment. Was uh, Jane and Alice there, too? Of course. We're cutting up a few touches. You know, trying to decide what to do with the stuff. All of a sudden, I heard a heavy pounding on the door. I reached for... Was it the police? No. I quickly turned out the lights and we... Was it... No. Then I moved closer. Closer. To Alice? No, to the door. And then I put my hand on the doorknob and then... And then? Well, isn't that bad enough? Do I have to go into all the gory details? After all, there's such a thing as ethics. Even among criminals of my type. Johnny, could I be your gun girl? I have such small hips, you know. You mean you want to be with me even after... Yes, more than anything in the world. Well, you know what kind of a life it is. Always have the police chasing you, always on the run. Always afraid to look people in the face and fear it might turn out to be Jake. Yes, even if Jake was here right now. Neither, darling. Ah, oh, there you are, Johnny. I was looking all over for you. I guess I was looking in the wrong place, eh? Excuse me, please. I wanted to pay you for the elephant. Today has been wonderful, thanks to her. Well, uh, I guess I'll have to think that over, Mr. Cordova. You see, uh, I, I might not be able to sell you money after all. But why, Johnny? The price, perhaps? Oh, no, no, no. It's not that at all. Uh, you see, uh, it's... Yes. I see. I see a man who does not keep his word. Oh, but you don't understand. I understand perfectly, senor. When you have made up your mind how much money you want for Bunny, let me know. So you want to play games, eh? Fine time of the night you pick for it. By the way, what are you doing out at this hour? You realize it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning? Oh, you do? I'll bet you know a lot of things, don't you? Did you know that I'm in love? Me? Johnny O'Reilly, who has never been in love before. And that she loves me. You know everything, don't you? Well, I'm letting you on something you don't know. 
just to keep you up to date. I'm going to marry him. Did you know that? Hey, hey wake up, you guys. I'm in love. At this time of the morning? Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. I'm in love with her and she's in love with me. Oh, how you know that? You was in love with Alice and Mabel and Yeni and all Oh, he ought to know. He's a man of experience. But, Oli, this time is different. It was different with the other ones, too. Please, let us go back to sleep. Si, senor. We can discuss this in the morning when we can look at the subject from all sides. Well, I've looked at the subject from all sides. I'm in love with her and I'm going to ask her to marry me. Marry her? Right now. But you cannot ask the man. But why not? He's free in front of one. But there's certain formalities that have to be observed. Here in Mexico, it's different. So what do I have to do? Well, here you ask the father for the hand of the daughter. So, I'll ask him. No, no, Johnny. You cannot ask him. He can't? You should have heard him rehearse the proposal he was going to make to the others. No, 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 no. Here, you send the nearest male relative or the closest friend to make such request. Okay, I'll send him. No, no, certainly not. What's the matter with me? Uh, that's besides the point. It is like sending a bull to a china shop for, for a parcel on a teacup. Well, however, I will accompany this uh, matrimonial emissary to see that everything is handled properly. You know, we want everything you said, Johnny. Okay, then I'm all set. Well, let's hop in the alley. <laughs> good night. Good night. What do you mean, good night? You guys think I'm going to wait till morning? Get out of those beds. Oh, but look, it's two o'clock. Oh, nobody makes such requests for marriage at two o'clock in the night. What does time got to do with it? Well, I, I, I think you got something there, Johnny. Well, if there's no law against it. Well, what are we waiting for? Well, what are we waiting for? Yeah, hey, let's make moon by the hay shine. Sure. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. This is private. But, Johnny, those are the musicians. But what for? We ain't going to dance with her. Oh, sure. All I want to do is get permission to marry her. But that's why they're here. Music soothes the savage breast. Hmm, the old man. Hey, maybe you got something there. Mm, bubbles. Johnny, can you sing? Can I sing? Oh. We'll have the musicians. Yes, but I'm awful nervous. God, you say you make me nervous too. Senor O'Reilly, what is the meaning of this? Well, I... Uh, uh, Senor Cordova, I am at the door. Ignacio, what does this mean? Well, uh, we have come to see you about... Uh, about... Uh, A very joyous occasion. At this hour of the morning? Si. And what is that? Well, it, it's very simple. You see, I, I mean him. No, I mean they. Well, uh, him and me. Perhaps we can discuss it inside. Hello, Oli. Oh, hello, Nita. Where's Johnny? Oh, outside the window. Thank you. Nita. Johnny, my darling. Ignacio and Oli are popping my question. Please be seated, gentlemen. Gracias. How are they doing? They're just sitting down. Oh, Johnny, I'm so happy. That makes two of us look again. And now, senores, what is the nature of your visit? Well, uh, Mr. Carpoda... Uh, Cordoba. Uh, yes, I, I mean, the... Well, I, I'm a little self-unconscious, but I want to ask you, uh, but we want to speak about... The elephant. No. No, 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 no. no, no. Excuse no. me, Senor de Cordova. Uh, this is much, much larger than even an elephant. And yeah, you see, what we really want to speak about is... Uh, well, you know about the birds and bees. Well? They're talking about the birds and the bees. What? 
I'm going in there. No, Johnny. Let them do it. So you see, Mr. Cordova, when the little boy bee falls in love with the little girl bee, there, there you was. <laughs> well, there you was. <laughs> you asking my permission for Janet to marry Anita? Si, senor. Gentlemen, I shall have to think it over. Oh, but why? They're already in love with each other. Uh, but, senor Cordova, as my good friend Johnny would say, this is no kibitz. This is love with the bells on. I'm sorry, my friend. I realize they do love each other, but I shall have to think it over. I have my reasons. Good night. Don't worry, honey. He'll see it our way. I hope so. But he's so stubborn. Oh, he knows we're in love. Why, he's a cinch to give in to our marriage. Mm, you don't know, Papa. He's no cinch. Listen, if everything was as big a snap as this, as our worries would be over. Johnny. Does this go on all night? What is that they're playing? Mi amor. My love? Yes, my love. Come in. What can I do for you, Senor uh... Hernandez? Alejandro Hernandez. Won't you be seated, Senor Hernandez? No, many thanks. My visit will be brief. I have but the one question to ask. That's fine. I'm a busy man myself. Now then, to begin with, I have been in Tijuana, Mexicali, Juarez, Chihuahua, Guadalajara, Mexico. Uh, Senor Hernandez, I can see that you're a very well traveled man, but let us dispense with this tour, even though these places are romantic and beautiful. Senor Capitan, I was not on my honeymoon, and I was not traveling for pleasure. I was looking for my property. But, Senor Hernandez, this is not a real estate office. I realize that, Senor Capitan, but my property has been stolen. Ah, stolen. And what's the nature of your property? An elephant. And what's the description of this elephant? Elephant? You know, it's too bad they wouldn't put Bunny's name on the Fiesta ballot. I bet you she would be elected queen tonight. What else could you expect? If you have left the matter to me, as Dolores, her election would have been practically in the alley. Oh, well, even if you ain't clean up the fiesta, you'll still be the most beautiful girl there. Hello, Johnny. You guys did a swell job, but it's no use. Mr. Cordova refused to give his permission. Yeah, he didn't quite hit it that time, did you, Bunny? Johnny, if Bunny says you will marry her, you will. See, she doesn't talk just at all. 
Senor O'Reilly and Senor Swenson, you are both under arrest. Now, look, we didn't steal the elephant. If the owner... But it isn't just a matter of elephant stealing. There are other charges. What are the charges? You will find out this way. Oh, well, goodbye, Bunny. Be a good girl and listen to what the doctor tells you. Johnny. It's all right, honey. We haven't done anything. Come on, smile. Snap out of it. You look like an old maid. I want you to be the queen tonight. Yes, and with Bunny out of the election, you won't have any competition. We'll come to the police station and get you out on bail. Eh, hey, Papa? Yes. We owe them that much. Well, thanks, Mr. Cordova. Senora, let's go, por favor. I'm going to get my purse. Hurry, Papacito. I can never hold on to my money. Ah, uh, love. Nita! What is it, Papa? Our money! It's gone! Oh, no! Come in. Oh, Jose, I'm so glad you're here. We've been robbed. Someone opened my safe. Does this belong to you? Yes, this is part of it. Where'd you get it? I found it by Johnny's truck. Are you sure this is ours? Yes, that's my handwriting on the slip. I won't believe Johnny is a thief. But I do, and I'm going to prosecute it. Perhaps if you promise not to press charges, senor, they may return the rest of the money. Papacito, I don't believe Johnny would steal from us. There will be no charges made. I'm having them transferred from the south station near the Fiesta grounds to the headquarters. But, my dear, the elephant matter is nothing. Simply a case of mistaken addresses. But there are other charges. One in particular, which I'm afraid will be a... What is that? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Ah, here we are. Number eight. They want it in Chicago. Well, here, read it yourself. But Johnny and Ollie are from Brooklyn. See, they were from Brooklyn. That's number three. Thank you, Capitan. Anita, you mustn't let this upset you too much. Forget about it. You know you are the favorite to be the queen of the fiesta tonight, and uh, you should. Senor, You're smart you... to keep your nose out of this. Look, honey, finally everybody's convinced we didn't steal the elephant. It's not the elephant, and you know it. What I want to know, which one of them did you marry? Married? Hey, wait a minute. I'm not married to anyone. Yet. Con calcita agarra, eh? Vamos. There he is. That's my husband. Uh -huh. Took me a long time, didn't it, Joe? Yeah. But no one runs out on little Gertie. But, senorita, his name is Jose. Not from my angle, it's not. He's Joe the Jip. <laughs> Say, where's this dude, Charlie? <sighs> Senor, it's Charlie! Ah! Well, Charlie, you've been doing all right for yourself, haven't you? It's my money, they're not stolen. Take them into the headquarters. This way, front up. I suggest you go along with it. You bet I will. Nita, Nita! Senor Hernandez here has agreed to sell the elephant to us. You see, senorita, you can buy her for 10,000 pesos. 10,000 pesos? Yeah, that's just about the right price. Less three months board, food, transportation, and other things. That'll just about make us even with this. But, senor, this... Senor Hernandez, 
With that, you can complete your tour. Oh, Capitan! <laughs> And if you are your mask, and if they are your mask, but when the evening is gone, your memory still lingers on the night night. The moon is the brightest you see. The wind has the scent for the sleep. The girl is the mother that breathes. A combination that drives the fishes to the night. Then you discover the night, just what I mean. Another moonlight fiesta down in Mexico. You'll find mañana is the word to know. It never comes along. No, no, that would be wrong. For oh, life is just a song. A gay and happy song. Just let yourself really go when you are in Mexico. Just so. Mañana. Thank you. 